Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the America Gardens Theater, the last madman of rock and roll, Paul Revere and the Rangers. We do old hits. Sometimes people say, why do you do so many old hits? Why, why do you do so many old, old hits? Ain't had a new hit in 40 years. That's what we do. Now, here's, 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 we used to have a television show in the mid-60s and uh, Dick Clark produced it. It was on every afternoon after school. It was called Where the Action Is. You ready? Let's go. Oh, baby, come on. two more verses but not in this lifetime okay now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a lot of our old hits and we're gonna do some uh, my favorite ones and this is 1965 we had a song called stepping out is one of our early hits it goes like this well, I had to leave town because of Let's give him a piece of our mind. 
song off of our first goal album. Check it out. songs you do i gotta check i do now hey you don't want to sing it what wow d d look at all the cute faces look at look, all our fans that growed up and they turned out cute yeah. and now most of them got grandkids yeah yeah and they drag them in there and grandkids go whoa grandma captain crunch got a band <laughs> right on little dude just sit there and be quiet okay <laughs> now what we're going oh man i just love seeing the kids out here and moms and dads grand that's this just always just makes me feel so good when I come to this. Ah, it's the happiest place in the world, and I get so happy I can do this. But I'm too old, so I won't. Now, we're going to do more old songs. <laughs> Amazing, huh? Okay, we're going to do a, a big hit. Where did my lead singer go? Huh? Oh, there he is. Well, he's a minute man. He went to the bathroom, but he's back. Okay, there you go. All right, so anyway, we're going to do a good thing in case you, uh, in case you got here a little late. Okay, here we go, here we go. Like this. Bingo. All right. So anyway, I'm in Japan, <laughs> and, I, and a guy 
guy spotted me, he said, Paul Revere. Oh. I said, you got, you got me. Yeah. He said, what are you doing here? I said, dude, just keep coming around. Eventually you come to America. And then that's where you're going to see Parvin Ridge. He said, man, you still alive? You're still doing it? I said, I'm still doing it. I'm still alive. He said, man, he said, you've been around a long time. I said, been around a long time. He said, how old are you now? I said, well, I just turned 73. Oh. Yeah, and that's not old, is it? <laughs> not in Florida. No way. Lord, I'm just a kid. Boys, I'll tell you. Anyway, he, he wanted to know how I got my start. You got a minute? Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, he said, how'd you get your start? I said, well, I started out, I went to Hollywood, and I wanted to be in show business, and I got a job uh, playing the keyboards on a, on a rock, on a game show. Oh. On a game show. Do you see if you remember this? <laughs> what do we got for the little lady, Johnny? Wow. Oh, yeah. That was you. game show? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I wrote that. You wrote it. I wrote it. You wrote it. Then I decided to add more notes. <laughs> oh, no. oh yeah, I did, in the middle of the night one night, I just went, ah, more notes, but I have a song. Ah. So anyway, see, see if you remember this one here. This is a very famous song. We did it first and everybody on the planet did this song. You probably recorded this dumb song. Ready? Yep. Then it was two years later. How many? Two. Two years later, Dick Clark called me up. He said, Paul, there's a British music invasion going on. Oh. You couldn't have timed it better, man. Paul Revere and the Raiders, look at your costume. Man, the British, hey, you need another hit record. I said, Dickie Bird, I got it. It's right here. Stir them up backwards, forward, any way you put them, another hit. All right. Well, boys, time to move on oh. to the to, to the later years in our life when we started having songs with four four songs, sometimes as many as four notes. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We had to we had to bring in coaches and everything else. That don't, but we finally we mastered it. Anyway, this this is a great song. It's called Hungry. There's a gold record for us. See if you remember it. Here we go.
before the show. Okay. Ah, uh, well, I tell you, I just had, I just love playing. We've been playing Disney for uh, 40 years. We we actually we came actually we've been playing uh, Disney in uh, Disneyland before they built this place. I mean, back in the 60s, and then in 1971, 40 years ago, uh, that's when they opened the Magic Kingdom, and uh, we and they opened in October, and then that winter uh, they had a grad night. And we were the first rock group that Disney hired over in here, and we played Grab Night. And that was 40 years ago. Yeah! Any, anybody from that particular Grab Night here? All right, come on, throw your teeth in the air. Let's see you. Man, 40 years ago. I know that. <laughs> okay, throw your cane. That'll work. Okay, anyway. That's a long time ago, and then uh, as the years progress, they, uh, Disney always used us for something. We'd play, for the, we'd play uh, in front of the Magic Castle. Yeah. Oh yeah, in front of the castle, that was fun. And we did a Christmas show, we did all kinds of shows, and then they built this joint. And then we've been playing here ever since. So, and then they started Flower Power. Yeah. And then we started, then they built this stage, and then and they, and they built the stage just because of us. Isn't that right? Oh, oh yeah, sure, that's sure, what I thought. Sure. Yeah, because they thought we'd look good on it. Oh, yeah. Okay, anyway, that's a, that's a little history about, and I got you back from the bathroom again. Okay, <laughs> all right. Anyway, that was uh, 40 years ago when we started playing in this beautiful Florida uh, location here, and we just love it, love it, love it. Okay, we're going to do a special thing for special people. What might that be? Funny you should ask. We're we're gonna do something for our veterans that we love so much. We love our vets, and one thing, oh yeah. Hey, any vets out there, raise your hand. Oh, see that? Oh, hey, hey, let's go invade Mexico or something. Okay, yeah, we got a bunch of vets here. Okay, we can do it. Okay, well anyway, anyway, I just love you to death. But uh, well, one of the things I always like to do is something special for our Vietnam vets. They never got a welcome home, you know. And so we like to do something for our Vietnam vets and do a couple of songs here that they remember, especially for them. We're gonna go back in time when a Huey helicopter was a way to get from here to here. And here's how they sounded. You ready? That's a Huey. Yeah. I recorded that from Forrest Gump. All right, Armed Forces Radio we used to play this song a lot, and I know you remember. Here we go. There's something happening here, but it is ain't exactly clear. There's a man with a gun over there. Telling me I've got to be away. Take a time to stop me. What's that sound? Everybody wants to go away. It's a 
Smith. I want to thank him for his Vietnam veteran hat. This is good. Do I look good in this? Oh, yeah. 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 Feels good. All right, well, I'll tell you what. Hey, is that lady leaving? Yeah, where are you going? Oh, okay. Maybe she's just doing her exercise up and down the hill there. Okay. Huh? She's got to get out of this place. No, it was just a, it was just a song. Okay. All right. Okay. Anyway, uh, that, was, that was a good song. And that, uh, that was a very memorable song from that era. And the people that wrote that song, they also wrote Hungry. Yeah. And they wrote, uh, wrote uh, Kicks. But we're not going to get Kicks yet. Oh. Not yet. Almost, though. It's getting close. So sometimes the drummer gets so excited when I mention any song, he goes into it. And I just thought I'd mention, uh, while, while we're standing here, I thought I'd mention the fact that we have, uh, we have, uh, we got a website. Yes. Yeah. You go to woo woo woo. Woo woo woo. WWW. Now woo woo woo. Yeah, woo woo woo. Go to woo woo woo. Parvinerators.com. Yeah, and you got to check it out because uh, uh, it's got our, our tour schedule, it's got everything. Yeah, you never know. Yeah, our tour schedule, check it out. We might be playing a supermarket opening near you. <laughs> hey, at my age, I don't turn nothing down. Okay, anyway, uh, and then another thing uh, we got there is uh, the uh, guest book. Right. And we love it when you, when you enjoy the show, sign the guest book. Hey, you didn't enjoy the show? Get off my guest book, go to the monkeys, and leave me alone. <laughs> gotta put that hat back on. I feel weird without my three corners. Okay, got it. Okay, boys, yeah. here, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do a... Uh, big hit record that we had uh, back in 1966 and it's called Kicks. <laughs> for nothing okay and then on the other side of the stage we have his uh, sidekick okay this guy uh, th there you go it's been uh, they've been in groups together since they were in the seventh grade oh and who am I to break up this team so here he is after all these years 37 years in the band from Seattle Washington Ron Foos nice have Ron Do that with 
with his whole body, but now just his elbows work. Okay, now. Up here on the keyboards. <laughs> is that funny or is it just me? Okay, anyway. So up here on the keyboards, uh, 30 years in the band from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, Danny Krause. Nice to have Danny. Did you guys just play that? Okay. And so, uh, <laughs> different key. Oh, okay. All right. And then on the drums here, oh, this is the newest member of the band. Brand new guy. Oh, he's actually been in the band a year now. But we've known him for about 30 years, and uh, for 20, for 28 years, wasn't it 28 years? For 28 years, he was the drummer in the Buckinghams from the 60s. So, if, if he looks familiar, it's because he was a Buckingham kind of guy. Okay. And now here he is, a Buccaneer kind of guy. How, how cool is he? All right, and then we got Darren here. Now, Darren, my man, uh, Darren Dower from Daytona, Florida. Let me hear for Darren. And Darren, Darren's very excited because his mommy and daddy's here tonight. And, uh, and uh, they're watching him and they go, oh, he could have been a dentist. Look at him. Okay. All right. Anyway, I, I, just, I just love this kid. He is so talented and uh, does a little bit of everything. He was in a group uh, you may have heard of or maybe not. People my age probably not. But uh, uh, he, he was the original lead guitar player for the Backstreet Boys. <laughs> Polite applause from my people. Okay, and then of course, then he was all, for ten years. He was in another group called the the uh, the Letterman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See? Now my people are semi excited. Okay, anyway, you're just doing a great job, Darren. I love you, baby. And he does imitations. We probably don't have time for it. You know, maybe, 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 maybe time for for Donald Duck when he was just uh, just a boy duck, a, a baby duck. Listen, I love this. He does this in the dressing room. What? I never could understand that duck. Okay. Well, all right. Well, anyway, we're going to do, we got business to do here. You know, in 1971, when we opened uh, uh, the Magic Kingdom over there and played Grad Night, uh, we had the number one song in the country, and we're going to do it for you now. So, five million copies. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Let's go eat. Lady. 
Ladies and gentlemen, Paul Revere and the Raiders.